What's up, guys? Jugglo23451, water cooling editor over at overclock.net forums. And today, I'm going to be talking about picking out a high end water cooling loop and a low end uh, water cooling loop parts. So let's get started for your high end guys. Uh, excuse me. The EK Supreme is going to be the best water block, and I should say EK Supreme HF. That's going to be the best water block. For your budget guys, go ahead and get the XSPC. Uh, Rasa water block. It's a good budget block, trust me. And for your GPU uh, or graphics cards, uh, the best block again is going to be EK, and then the budget is going to be XSPC. For radiators, um, the absolute best radiator right now that I've seen so far is the GTX series uh, by HW uh, Labs, I believe. And that's those rads are going to require like Panaflows. Deltas or Kazis, all right. Those are going to require really high speed, high CFM, and a very loud setup. Okay. Next, uh, from HW Labs, you're going to have the SR, excuse me, TAC One radiator uh, series, and those are great uh, rads if you want a quiet setup. They're good with 1,850 RPM uh, gentle typhoon fans. Okay, next from that, uh, there's the RX series from XSPC, which I'm personally using. I am using a RX 480 as well as a RX 360 for my fiance's build. Again, they use uh, gentle typhoon fans, 1850 RPM, and they work great. Okay. XSPC also has the RS series rads, and that's probably going to be more for the budget cooler. So their rads are reasonably priced. So keep that in mind, XSPC, RS series. All right, and then thermal chill, I would put that along the line of high-end uh, radiators. And they're good radiators as well. They have a new design, but I haven't seen the... Um, tests or benchmarks or whatever you want to call it to see how good these radiators are okay now I'm gonna go for fans for our radiators alright for the absolute budget Yatloon fans are fine but there are better ones just putting it out there alright so again you're gonna have Yatloons, Panaphos, uh, Deltas and uh, Kazis and then Gentle Typhoons for if you want a quiet setup with the RX or SR1 series rads. Okay, tubing. Now, a lot of you guys are going to figure out what tubing you want. Matter of preference, okay? I personally use 7 16 uh, tubing, and you, there's two more sizes there's 3 8 tubing and then half inch tubing, alright? It's all going to depend on your preference. And for cheap tubing, there's Master Clear, and then there's Primo Chill, which I'm personally using. And Primo Chill has clear; they have color tubing like white, green, yellow, so on and so forth. Okay. And then uh, you have Tigon tubing. All right. Tigon tubing is considered the best, but I went with Primo Chill, and it's not bad. It's really good tubing. So. That's what I'm using right now in my rig, as I said before, as well as my fiance's rig. Okay? Now, fittings. It's going to be depending on you how much do you want to spend on fittings. It's a matter of preference. There's coolant fittings, bits mart, or bits power, excuse me, fittings, and you know, it just goes on and on. There's a lot of uh, fitting manufacturers out there. I personally use bits power fittings. Uh, for the high-end guys, I'm using uh, Bits Power uh, compression fittings, and then for the low-end guys, just use Bits Power uh, barbs. That's what I'm using, or I used in the past. So those are good uh, fittings. You know, let's the other manufacturers, there's Coolants, and then Primo Chill. I think they make fittings. There's a uh, Enzo Tech that makes uh, fittings, I believe. As well, it just depends how much you want to spend. Okay. Now for uh, oh yeah, before I forget, make sure you get the same size uh, fitting for your compression uh, fitting. So if you're getting 
7 sixteenths ID and then 5 eighths OD or outer diameter you have to make sure the compression fitting matches that size if you don't match it you won't be able to get it to work okay and then if you uh, want to use uh, half inch barbs go ahead and use 7 sixteenths inch uh, tubing if it's right over the barb and it provides a, a tighter fit slash seal and uh, just proof um, I still highly recommend it but I'm not doing it because I'm experienced I'm using a 7 16 barb or 7 16 tubing over half inch barbs and I'm not using any clamps I do not condone on not using clamps I recommend it but I'm a water cooling expert more or less and I know I'm not going to have any leaks just putting that out there okay so use clamps if you're going to use barbs alright now for pumps there's the uh, OCZ hydro flow pump which would be good if you're just doing a CPU uh, excuse me a CPU only loop okay then the high-end pumps are going to be the MCP355 pump the MCP35X pump and the MCP 655 pump but the 35x pump that I mentioned it's still pretty pricey even to my standards and they're going for roughly a hundred dollars okay so I would personally just stick with the 355 or the 655 pump okay and basically the 355 pump is a tad better than the 655 pump all right next uh if you want to maximize the efficiency for the MCP 355 pump, get a top for it. Um, XS, uh, excuse me, XSPC makes tops for them. Uh, EK makes tops for them. I think uh, Bits Power makes tops for uh, the MCP 655 as well. So getting a top can effectively, uh, more or less, provide a more efficient flow through your block or through the pump itself and they'll give you better results and cooling and all that fun stuff okay alright next for reservoirs I'm gonna go with the uh, MCP 355 pump first okay there's two kinds of reservoirs that you can get they have the uh, reservoirs for the MCP 355 where here's the pump and basically you just stick it on there you know you take the top off and then you actually put the reservoir on there and they can that would enable you to use a uh, half inch barbs 3 8 inch barbs you know whatever size barb you want alright and then as well they make a uh, a dual bay reservoir XSPC does so if you want to do two loops they have it where you can put uh, two pumps in and basically they have the reservoir cut in half alright and I personally like the XS the XSPC dual bay reservoir for just one uh, single uh, NCP 355 pump that reservoir is absolutely awesome I have another buddy that has it and it's awesome to him as well but um, it's not necessarily going to be a budget uh, reservoir good budget reservoir will probably be the uh, Swift Tech Micro Revision 2 reservoir and that's going for 20 bucks and now for the uh, MCP 655 um, I think it's bits power they have it where you can put two 655 pumps in a reservoir so you can run two loops they also have uh, a reservoir where basically you just unscrew the uh, pump apart and then you screw it back in the reservoir and uh, more or less it's easier fill up and all that good stuff and then I think that's about it I'm going to make sure to put links but don't ridicule me if I don't uh, put it up right away because I'm not feeling well right now so I guess that's it comment subscribe rate this video you guys have a great day